Alright, making a video. Yeah, things have been kind of quiet on YouTube. Uh, not much going on. Um, and, you know, I've sort of been in my movie watching period, so I guess that worked out okay. <laughs> There's nothing to nothing to respond to. Um, so I've been um, just exploring um, the artistic mediums. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's losing its, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be migrating out of that mode pretty soon, I think, because the movies all kind of suck. So anyway, I did see Melancholia, and yeah, uh, yeah, not much to say. I mean, it was just so much smaller a movie than I thought it would be. Um, the only part done well is the planet, um, you know, I mean, it was sort of an interesting idea, and it was done um, artfully. Um, you know, in terms of the music and the the uh, images, but um, yeah, I guess they could have even added something to that. You know, shown some of the swirls of the atmosphere on the planet, or something about the planet would have been made it more interesting. Perhaps uh, one assumes it would be probes that would have taken a look at the planet. Um, you know, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, and it was just, you know, it's just this tiny little slice of human reaction, and uh, it all seemed kind of silly, and the characters were so inconsistent, and, yeah, I just didn't, I couldn't, just, you know, halfway into it, I was just like, I, you know, I didn't even know if I wanted to finish the movie, it was so tedious, um, you know, I, I mean, it was so, you know, they were trying too hard to make it, um, Look, it's just average life, except there's a planet coming, and we haven't told you that yet. And, um, but, um, yeah, it just, who, who, who wants to do that? I mean, it's like just watching, somebody watching something, I mean, I wouldn't want a movie where you just watch somebody wash dishes for 45 minutes. And going to somebody's wedding is, haven't we seen weddings like nine million times in movies? And you're going to waste a... 40 minutes on it, or a half, more than a half an hour, I mean, forget it, it's just no point, the old family drama bullshit, who cares, um, yeah, not very, um, interesting or challenging, or, um, and certainly it, it isn't necessary to get the idea of regular life, or tedium, you know, this was always missing from movies, is the mundane stuff, you know, the everyday stuff, the the stuff you have to just endure every day, you know, just the routine of keeping your life together, um, you know, especially for people who have to work eight hours a day or more, <laughs> you know, just that whole bite out of your life, um, you know, especially if you're doing work that doesn't interest you, um, you know, that's just like going to prison, um, you know, and getting a feel for that in a movie it seems to be a sensible thing, but that's always, that's not what movies are about, you know, it's always about the peak moments. Um, but certainly you can get the idea of monotony in five minutes, you don't need to spend 40 minutes on, you know, real life drama kind of bullshit, get the idea of some kind of backstory, and it was all backstory, and then the, the end story was just... Um, silly. I, I mean, silly in the sense that it didn't, I couldn't relate to any of it in, in terms of reactions. Like I said, the characters are way too inconsistent. You know, one minute stoic and ready for it, the next minute, you know, you can't even lift your leg to take a bath. I mean, silly things like that. Just this silly. Um, so anyway, so yeah, not a very good movie. And it's filmed in, you know, jitter vision or whatever. And so that just made it really irritating, you know, like deliberately amateur camera work, for what purpose, I don't know. Uh, yes, yeah, so nothing good to say, um, but the idea of, you know, facing mortality is an interesting concept, you know, if it's really put in your face, you know, as a certainty. And, um, you know, there's not too many people get it that way. They get it in some sort of, oh, there's a chance, and oh, if you get this therapy or this treatment, you could live, and blah, blah, blah. You know, so they get caught up in fighting for their life, and 
you know, it's not about living, it's just about surviving. And somehow that's enough of a, an accomplishment. And, you know, the, the real story is, is this, do we have enough? Is there really enough uh, to justify the effort extended? Um, yeah, I don't see it. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I guess it's not very useful to me philosophically. And, uh, yeah, it's not very useful in terms of even in internalizing it to your own existence and trying to figure out what, you know, to do with your own life. Um, this seemed like there should be a story that's a little bigger than... So anyway, I have to make a movie. That's what it comes down to. Do it right. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know if I have anything. You know, it's, it's just been one of those. You know, I watched a couple other movies. Um, I have a little list of morbid atheists left, but uh, yeah, it's kind of not a very reliable list. Um, some movie called Gotcha, I guess it is, or something. And then, yeah, that was didn't make much sense either. Um, sort of little interesting plot twists, but, you know, I guess I'm, I'm sick of plot twists. Um, you know, they're just, they're all over the place, right? That's what they do in movies now, is try to surprise you. And, um, you know, that's one of the bits of the formula. And I suppose I would resort to the same thing if you're trying to write a story, but, uh, you know, you'd want to keep people guessing. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess if you're, <laughs> you, know, if it, you know, if it's coming, then it's not going to work as well, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I guess the, you know, you can't create too many flaws to set up your surprise. Um, you know, and that's, I guess, everything looks awful contrived. Everything looks contrived just to make the surprise, just to pull off the surprise, and so there's no story, that, you know, because they have to spend all their time trying to make it, um, trying to fool you, uh, so, yeah, so I guess that's, you know, not much to say, um, so I wish there was some kind of bigger, better conversation to have, um, you know, the subject of living is sort of interesting right now for me. You know, just because I'm, I mean, one of those periods where you're just walking through your life. Um, you know, and I'm thinking about periods where I was living it more aggressively and more, more caught up in, um, you know, something simple even. Um, simple entertainments. Simple occupations, and uh, yeah, I just don't have any patience for that right now. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very hostile to the mundane and the mediocrity of it, even the redundancy of this video. The you know, it's sort of obligatory. The you know, it's not going to be profound enough, meaningful enough. And that's irritating me. <laughs> you know, everything just seems to be moving so slow. And it seems so um, difficult, um, you know, to find the plot in this story. What's the plot of my life? <laughs> yeah, what's the, you know, where's it heading? What kind of stupid ending is it going to have? Um, you know, it's just interesting to take an overview, you know, rise above it, so to speak, and see yourself as a character, and, um, you know, just analyze your own performance, and try to figure out whether you even make sense to yourself. I mean, would I write my character? Would, would my character seem, what would I say, there's too many contradictions in the behavior of that person, or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I guess I don't see that, but I do see a, uh, 
you know, a lack of performance, you know, a lack of accomplishment, and uh, that irritates me. You know, not that I'm saying I'm entitled to be something more than I have become. Um, you know, because you still have to earn that, and I haven't, uh, you know, haven't done anything overtly, directly enough to earn anything. It's sort of, I'm back to this perception of myself as, um, you know, jack of all trade, master of none. You know, I have mastered nothing, um, and I get by in most of what I do. And, you know, that's not much of a way to, to play the game, I don't think. But, you know, it's hard to say. Because <laughs> the story isn't over yet. There's, you know, there'll be more pages. Probably. Um, but that's the other trick, right? You never know. You don't know how long you got. Anything can happen tomorrow. Today. Now. You know. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's another perspective I'm becoming more aware of. Just... You just start getting into this thing, and um, you know my expectations for uh, writing an ending seem seems more dominant in my thinking. You know, writing the the end of the story seems something you're more. I'm, I seem to be more um, conscious of than I was 20 years ago. Even though, in some ways, I felt more mortal, you know, I felt more, t t you know, you know, it's kind of strange. I mean, I felt, I guess, I was, it was more of a personal um, hopelessness, you know, in, in 20 years ago, and now it's more of a um, pragmatic, bigger picture. Uh, you know, that maybe there's just, it's too, there's, you know, too much to overcome, you know, too far away, just not the right time, I need, I need more time, I need to be born later, or something, you know, something's just not right for it to fall into place. Yeah, but that's just kind of a bullshit perception, too. Yeah, you know, they're all... Yeah, I you know you, you figure there's there's the seeds of something, and so once there's seeds, you f you just kind of hope they will grow into something. I suppose you'd expect that you've built enough of a foundation. However, the, the way to, to to just say that okay, you've put enough things in place that the expectation that something would happen isn't too outrageous. It's not like you're doing the pig fly thing without having done some work in terms of, you know, creating big enough wings and, you know, some mechanism the pig, you know, the pig has some hope of, of managing it. So, um, you know, there's enough to say there's some reason to think something can change or something can happen. There's just not reason to be very... You know, to be highly, to, 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 there's no reason to expect it, or, or um, it's the right word. Expect isn't enough of a word to have it as a demand, expectation, a command almost. So anyway, <clears throat> just this stuff rolling through my head. Mm, yeah, so I haven't decided what to, you know, I'm still just floating about a bit. Um... I mean, the idea is still to get to some sort of mechanism that forces a bigger conversation somehow. Um, you know, create some sort of internet functionality that takes some of this waste out and redundancy and bullshit. Um, so, I should get back to work at that. And, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of where I am. Um, <clears throat> it's all about the the marketing, the uh, the <laughs> you know, the you know how to um, 
force. Um, some sort of conflict. Some sort of um, um, not conflict. Um, confrontation. Yeah, to to force there to be the the resolution, the standoff, the you know, e either the terminal moment, either you turn right or you turn left, you know, either things will get done or they won't, yeah, it's like some sort of chain reaction, you either get it going and it goes or it fails entirely and you have to start all over almost, something like that. So, not a very useful video, talking about uselessness of my approach so far, which needs to be improved, so, but you have to, yeah, you have to know something's broken to fix it, so, at least I know it's broken, so I'll work on fixing it, yeah, that's what I'll do, so, until the next time, and such.